The weather may have been warmer, but the Bobcat bats remained cold. You know, one game doesn't dictate another game, just like one at bat doesn't dictate another at bat. So again, you know, I think, you know, it's all about, you know, who's mentally tough, you know, in that moment. After being held to only two hits by the Yale Bulldogs on Wednesday, the Bobcats had only five hits in the first game against the Iona Gales and scored no runs for the second consecutive game. Casey Herzog gave up three runs to start the game off, which led to a rare first inning mound visit by assistant coach Devin Kelly. Tori Danner and Jasmine Temple were responsible for six out of the nine hits for the Gales in the first game. Danner went four for four with a home run, two doubles, and a single. Kendall Brundret took the circle for the second game against the reigning Mac Pitcher of the Year, Alana Evans. You know, I think we just try to go in and again attack strikes. I think we got a little passive in the first game and let a lot of strikes go, so we had to make that adjustment in the second game. Brundret only pitched two innings before being replaced by Abby Long. Long pitched well, giving up two unearned runs in five innings to the Gales. In the bottom of the seventh, Keala Cordero doubled to left center field, scoring two runs. Cordero cut the Gales' lead to one run with one of their best hitters, Kehlani Finley, stepping into the batter's box. Finley may be tied for third in the MAC in hits, but she couldn't come through as the Bobcats fell just short to the Gales in game two. Six to five. The Bobcats will look to snap their three game losing streak as they go in to play the Marist Red Foxes at Poughkeepsie tomorrow in a doubleheader. Game one starts at noon. Reporting from the QU softball field, I'm Mike Dalton, Q30 Sports.